Here's my little garden tour, you guys. Look at this. So, you got the daffodils right there, the pansies, the tulips. Oh, they're so pretty. And then over on this side, oh, it's so pretty. And then I just planted my ranunculus right there. Oh, it looks so pretty. And then I have some pansies on top. My salvias are coming back. And the deer took a bite out of that. This is the daffodil. Queen's Day. And then over here, the hyacinths are just finished. When the peonies are coming up. So, there it is. The hyacinth. And two peonies in the back, and one over there. Really nice. So after the daffodils are done, the hyacinths came first. Um, the peonies are are gonna come up and then after the peonies I might start to put down some gladiolas because hopefully the hibiscus will be coming up so here are my roses um, I think this one is definitely Lady of Shalott and back there is Golden Celebration because Golden Celebration is very very leggy Oh, Rose fell over. So, I'm going to have them like that. Here's my little container. It's so pretty. There's a bee. Oh, it's so pretty. And then the hydrangeas are coming. And then I have some stuff in the greenhouse. So I'm gonna go up and show you guys the circle. It's been full of puddles, so I had to create a canal. And here is the Asiatic lily that's coming back. This is a mess, but I had to do it because I was afraid everything was going to be soaked and drowned. So I created like a canal so that the water can flow out. And that helped tremendously. Some hyacinths are still there. Some tulips are coming up. These are the purple ones. The deer had a nib at some of it. Peony back there I planted. I don't know if my hydrangeas are gonna make it like that one. There's another salvia right there. There is the tulips and the Asiatic lily in the back and the salvia. And my other tulips and the hydrangea and the peony in the back these are pretty these are the purple ones that went with the crocuses that i'm stepping on then we have the back area 
it was full of hyacinths. The hyacinths are done. So let's go back there. The hostas coming back right here. At least that one is. My incredible is leafing out. We got a salvias left over. Here is the hyacinths that are just finishing up, and these are the other daffodils that are just starting. So, this is what it looks like. So pretty. I love this one. So, it's funny because the hyacinths just finished up, and those white daffodils are finishing up, and now these daffodils are coming out. I put them in a group that's what it looks like that's so funny though they're now coming up and here is the raspberry so I wrapped that around that I put a clematis in there but then I buried it because it was so cold so I don't know then the strawberries I don't know where I'm gonna put that, but I'm gonna put it somewhere. Then the blackberry is leaping out. I have a hydrangea back there. Just in case those two die, I can pick that one up. Oh, Russian sage is coming back. And the peony that I planted. That's gonna flower next year. I just planted it this year. So I'm sure next year it's gonna flower. So, and my issue right here is that when we have like four and five days of, of rain, it's definitely gonna like flood out at the bottom right there and a little bit right there. So I'm gonna have to either I want to like try to make like a canal with the bricks so that the water can flow down into here instead of right there or I'm going to have to mound it up and just keep adding soil but the issue is the soil is going to naturally just as it breaks down it's going to come down in elevation so I'm going to have to continue to keep adding soil in here or I will just try to like push back the hydrangeas over here just bring everything back here and then just know that this is a flood zone like a puddle zone and you know just put annuals there but the tulips look really nice And I thought most of them were gone because the deer just ate through it. But it looks really nice. And then over here. Oh, here are some hyacinths still left. Oh, that's different. So. We have that hyacinth, the white one. So these ones are a little bit taller and the tulips are coming up so they're very very pretty I like it mm -hmm. so that's it you guys so far I can say that that was a semi fail, but next year will be better, especially coming in the summertime. I know we're gonna have like a whole week of rain, so I have to be very um, particular with how I'm gonna plant down there. And then over here, 
I'm hoping to cut this back some more just because it casts so much shade that way I can be able to add stuff back here I'm thinking of putting in the blueberries back there to go next to the raspberry but I need to do my research to find out if those plants can go together in the same um, uh, space so that's it you guys that's what I'm working with most of my stuff are in the greenhouse and I'm gonna start to start out my dahlias and I got a plum tree so doesn't that look nice oh next year is gonna be better and um, my pineapple is growing in the daffodils so I have three of those I got them for $30 half price they were like $60 so I'm gonna use one right over there for the dahlias and then one might be for the blueberries and an extra one for whatever so i hope that you guys enjoy my garden tour i'll see you guys soon so i came in today i see uh oklahoma iceberg charisma real samba um, perfume Delight, Medallion, Garden Party, that's what I'm seeing, Gypsy, and um, I saw Veteran Honor, Color Magic. Now it says medallion is on, oh it says non-patent, but medallion is a really nice one that's supposed to get very, very big. Opening magic. Is supposed to be really nice and sun flare. So I am happy today, y'all. <laughs> and Alfred Sicily as well. Oh, and there's some more over there. Perfume Breeze. Oh, I see Blue Girl over there. And some more Charisma. And some daffodils. They look pretty. And some grape hyacinths. And I see they have some pro mix as well. So today is my lucky day. So this is what I saw. Some strawberries and some lilac. Blueberries and raspberry. I picked up fall gold. I am really interested in Patriot because I heard that Patriot has some big blooms. I think I have Duke already and I have Blue Crop already. And then over here at the bottom are some peonies, lilacs, and some clematis. I picked up H.F. Young and I am thinking about getting um, First Lady. First Lady looks nice. And they have some more of other clematis. All of the flowers are out, buttercups. Look, Tadora, pansies, snapdragons, geraniums, thyme. So I'm just going to continue and the roses. 
and they daffodils so let me go inside now 